Welcome back to the cross round flipping empire challenge where we're going to be flipping from zero gold all the way up to 100 million gold in liquid gold. Uh, before we get into this episode, the cross round trading is still disabled. So the past week um, of this episode that we've recorded has been on round Pacific, so no cross round trading just yet. Uh, so let's jump right into today's episode. Before we get into it, if you'd like to learn exactly how to flip in retail and also Wrath Classic, I have a complete flipping guide where I teach you exactly how to flip on both servers of the game. And I also give you my TSM operations that you can plug straight into your TSM and you will have the groups that I've handpicked over the years of items to flip. And you also get the operations, which will let you sell the items profitably every single time. And that'll be the first link down below in the description box if you want to go ahead and check that out. Let's get into today's episode though, and let's check out what we've got on Frostmourne. So Frostmourne has been pretty good. Um, we haven't been reposting um, as much as we should be, but we still got 780,000 gold in sales. So 780k. That's really, really nice. If we have a look at some of the items here, the black velvet robes, we got these extremely, extremely cheap. We sold one for uh, 34K. Uh, some glorious plate legs, 132K. Uh, we sold a few of them now for really, really good prices. Uh, the night blade, 129K. Some more glorious um, plate legs. So actually two sets of those, two pairs of those, um, both for 132K each really really good um, another one here the faceless followers gloves 42k um, the golden mains rain for 123k so that's a mount a bfa mount that was a good sale wow actually we sold three pairs of glorious plate legs that is crazy these ones went for 119k so we've actually sold three of those um for what would that be Nearly 400k gold just in the glorious plate legs. So that's a ridiculous flip right there. Let's go ahead and collect the gold. And this will bring up the liquid gold on Frostmourne to 1,190k. So we're growing back up extremely quickly. All right, let's check out what we actually paid for the glorious plate legs. So we paid 15k each. And then we just sold a few of them um, for 130k and one for 119k. So extremely, extremely good flips with the glorious plate legs. While we're in this realm, we might check out the auction house. So the total auction house value on this realm is looking really good at 149.9 million. So a lot of gold in items listed up in the auction house, which is extremely good. Uh, let's jump over to the next realm and see what sales we're working with. All right, so first up, area 52, and we have 117k in sales. What have we got here? We got the golden main rain for 45k and then the pack mule for 71k. Very nice. We got them extremely cheap. The rains for 20k each. And I think the pack mule we got for 30k each. So very good. That brings up the liquid gold on area 52 to 164k. So next up is Deloran. All right. On Dalaran, we've had 23k in sales. Um, one bigger item mainly, which was the Blood Weight Gauntlets for 14k. So that brings up the liquid gold to 28k. Next up is Illidan. And we've got 12k in sales on Illidan's, mainly plans and patterns. One island expedition transmog piece. Let's go ahead and collect that. That brings up the liquid gold on Illidan to 21k. Next realm is Moonguard, the RP realm. And we've got 16K on this realm. We have sold a few transmog pieces. That brings up the liquid gold to 87K. Uh, Proudmore, Proudmore is up next. And we've had only one sale on this realm, and that was for 2.6K. So that brings us up to 74K on this realm. Moving on to the next realm. And we've got 16k in sales on this round. One decent sell, the Razor Fin Van Braces. So the Razor Fin gear does sell extremely well. It's good for flipping. Uh, that brings up the liquid gold to 59k on this round. Next up is Storm Rage. 
I think. Yep, Storm Rage. Let's check it out. Ooh, Storm Rage went pretty good. We got 32, uh, 39.9k in sales. Um, one big item right here. The Sleet Guard War Boots for 23k. Let's go ahead and collect that gold, and that brings up the liquid gold on Storm Rage to 63k. Next up is Thrall. Right, and Thrall has had 4.6k, so not too much in sales. Brings us up to 31k in liquid gold. And the final mail clear out is Tychondrius. Let's go ahead and see what we had on here. This has been one of the slower realms. Um, maybe because of what we have brought to flip on here, or maybe the realm is just a bit harder to sell on. But I don't think we've had too many crazy sales on this realm. It's always been the realm with the least amount of sales out of all of them. So maybe we've got to do a bit more investing, buy a few better items uh, for this realm. But we've only had, yeah, three sales equaling 1k. So go ahead and collect that. We've got a few items we've got to throw in the auction house still. Um, all right. So now that we've finished the mailbox clearouts, we will go ahead and check out the spreadsheet for the past week and see how we went on paper. All right, so this is the spreadsheet for the past week. So looking at the sales, I'm really happy with the sales actually. We've had over 1 million worth of sales across all of the realms, which is really good. The majority of the sales coming from Frostmourne with 780K uh, and then Area 52 with 117K. So really good week on sales. If we move on to the column of total gold change to the left of sales, uh, we've had a decent amount of realms that have went up in liquid gold. Uh, the total liquid gold we've went up is 983k, so very nice. The current gold we have on the realms, like in liquid gold, um, Frostmourne's looking really good. We built that back up to 1.1 mil, which is really nice. Uh, Area 52 is looking pretty juicy also. We have 1.7 mil to reinvest into some more flips now. We move on to the column of gold spend. We did not spend much at all. We spent only 93k in the past week. Uh, so that's, we didn't spend much at all. Maybe we should be spending a bit more to make more gold in the future. It's always good to spend your gold instead of letting it sit in your bags. Moving on to the auction house total wealth. So now these are looking really, really good, the numbers here. Frostmourne, 149.9 mil, nearly 150 mil in items listed on the auction house. That went up by 23 million, which is really nice. Um, the next biggest round would be Illidan at 47 million. And it also went up 3 million in the past week. So altogether, all, all the auction houses, we have a total wealth of listed items, uh, 229 million, and that went up in the past week by 58 million, million. So looking really good on that part. So hopefully they bring back, um, bring back cross realm trading, so we can spread out our items across all the realms on the NA region. Uh, this way we can have a lot more buyers and be able to sell our items that we have more than one of on by moving them to a different realm so we can have one of the item on every single realm. Um, this way you will be able to get a lot more sales. However, that is it for today's episode. Like I mentioned before, if you'd like how to learn exactly how to flip in Retail and Wrath Classic, I have guides for both of those inside of my flipping guide. It will teach you exactly how to do it, how to set up all the add-ons needed, and it will also give you my TSM import strings for my groups and my operations, so the groups are hand-picked items I've picked over the years to flip, and the operations will have you selling them items at a profitable price no matter what, um, and it's basically just plug in and off you go exactly how I am. However guys, that is it for today's episode, um, hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, hit the thumbs up button, it lets me know that you're enjoying this series. It's going to be a huge one, as soon as they bring back cross-round trading, we're going to see some insane numbers.